Hello and welcome back everyone, my name is Seth and today I'm bringing you guys how to code your own Discord bot part 2. Um, I'm actually not going to be doing the command handler in this video just for the sake of keeping a little bit shorter videos. So this video we're just going to be setting up our index file, our bot config file, grabbing our token, and stuff like that. So getting started we're going to go ahead and open folder, create a new folder wherever you want on your computer and name it basically whatever your bot is, and then go ahead and open that folder. Now in here, we're gonna go ahead and open a new terminal. We're gonna run npm init. And it's gonna ask us a bunch of questions. We're just gonna go ahead and press enter until it asks us, is this okay? Go ahead and type yes and enter. After that, you'll see it created a package.json file, so that's good. Now we can go ahead and install discord.js. So we want to do npm install discord.js. Go ahead and let that install. And then once that's done, you'll see another package lock.json. And in here, we wanna create a new file and call it index.js, okay? We're also gonna create a, another file called botconfig.json. And then in here, we're gonna go ahead and grab some curly brackets. And we're gonna grab one called prefix. And we're gonna make our prefix whatever you want. So this is Joel Zionbot, I'm gonna do J exclamation mark. And then below that, we also want to grab our token. We wanna to create a token variable in here. So for that, we're gonna actually need to go to our Discord developer portal. If you don't know how to do that, I'll leave a link in the description, but go ahead and just open your Discord developer portal, find your bot, go to your bot page, click copy token never let anyone see your token as uh, they can actually steal your bot and do crazy things with it so don't let anyone see this so once you have that copied we're gonna go ahead and paste it in here okay save that and then we can X out of our bot config.json in our index file we're gonna go ahead and add a few things we need to define discord so discord equals require discord.js okay so then we have discord defined in here now we need to um, define our bot so we're going to do const bot equals new discord.client make sure you uppercase everything like I am it needs to be specifically like that and we're going to go ahead and now add disable everyone true okay just like that and then below this we're gonna go ahead and add our bot config file and we're gonna let that equal require and we're gonna set this to bot config dot json um, keep in mind that if you are running on glitch.com or any other like Heroku and stuff like that these uh, directories could be different. Um, I don't use glitch.com or uh, Heroku, so I can't really help you in that department. My recommendation would be to Google it. So now we can go ahead and do bot.on, and we're gonna grab a ready event, async, parentheses, arrow function, and curly brackets. In here, we're going to just console.log um, and we're going to grab some back ticks and we're going to do dollar sign curly brackets so we can put a variable in here. We're going to do bot.user.username. This will grab the name of our bot and we're going to say is online on. We're going to make another variable spot here bot.guilds.cache.size. And then we're also gonna do servers after that. And this then, when we run our bot, will tell us how many servers our bot is on. Below that, we're also gonna do bot.user.setActivity. And we're gonna do backticks with bot.guilds.cache. Oops, cache.size and we're gonna grab servers as well, okay? So we're done with that for now. We can enter down, we're gonna do bot.login and we're gonna grab our bot config.token. 
This will let our bot log in, so we need that at the bottom. We're also gonna do another bot.on, and we're gonna grab a message event this time. So let's go ahead and do a sync message, arrow function, curly brackets. And then in here, we're gonna go ahead and do if message.channel dot type if it equals dm then we're going to go ahead and return this basically just makes it so that the bot cannot answer in a dm so if you for some reason want your bot to answer in a dm do not use that line um, we're going to go ahead and also do if message dot author dot id equals bot dot user dot id then we're also going to return and this basically makes it so that the bot cannot respond to themselves. Now that we have all that done, we should be able to just do no dot in our heating thing here. And it says Jolteon bot is online. So if I go ahead and grab my Discord server, we can see the bot is now online. So that's the end of this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll catch you guys later.